I've got three nice pictures drawn here to tell you about dV, the volume element, the infinitesimal bit of volume, uh, in the three different coordinate systems in three dimensions that we care about. I'll tell you about the, the uh, Cartesian coordinate system first. Uh, in some sense, it's the easiest one. If I want to know what dV is, remember dV is the small resulting change in volume that I get when I have a very small change in x, dx, a small change in y, dy, and a small change in z, dz. I get a little box whose uh, dimensions are dx by dy by dz. And so the product of these three things, dx, dy, dz, gives me my small volume element, dv. Now, let's look at the cylindrical coordinates. In some sense, uh, we've already done the hard work here when we looked at the area element for polar coordinates. And that's because the only thing different is I've now put a little dz on there. This base right here still has a side of dr and a side of r d theta. And so that makes this length right here, r d theta, this length dr, and the height dz. And so the full volume element is going to be dv equals the product of these three things. And I'll write the r out in front. So r dr d theta dz. Excellent. The hardest one now is spherical coordinates, as usual. It's sort of the trickiest to visualize. Now I'm looking at three different variations. I'm looking at a variation in rho. When I wiggle rho, d rho is this length right here. So this side of the box is d rho. That's this length. Now I'd like to wiggle phi, and phi is this, or this, this sort of the height of the box, these lengths here. Now, I'd like to say that it's, this length is d phi, but it actually depends on how far out I am. And so the length of this box should be rho d phi, for similar reasons that the length of the side of this base here was r d theta. I'm wiggling phi a little bit, and I'm out of radius of rho. So the side of this box, any one of these things, is rho d phi. Now finally, I need to know what's going on with these sides here, sort of the depth of the box. It's funny because these are, uh, I pretty much get these for free from this idea again. I'm swinging theta, I'm wiggling theta, and if I were to rotate this whole thing by phi, I could stick it, plop right down in the xy plane and wiggle theta, and I'd have r d phi, uh, I'm sorry, r d theta as the length of any of these sides here. So this guy is r d theta, but I don't like r in spherical coordinates. I like rho and phi. And so remember, r is rho sine phi. So I'll write this as rho sine phi d theta. And that's the length of that side. So multiply them all together, and you get your volume element for spherical coordinates, which is dv. And that's going to be rho sine phi times rho d phi times d rho. So I get rho squared sine phi d rho d phi d theta.